Oh man, I, I've been at this for a long time. I think it's 40 something years I've been working as a, either as a teacher or as a teacher educator or a university professor. I r write books for children and I write textbooks for teachers and uh, I el also work with other people for writing books for children in other parts of the world who don't have enough such books. Um, the question about literacy in Romania, somebody made the point this morning that Bill Brazo said, I don't remember learning how to read. And I expect that's true, maybe of you, maybe of you, I think that was my experience too, because my parents read books to me all the time and I had my favorite books and if they read a book that I liked, I would say, read it again, and they would do that again and again. So I learned a lot about literacy by the time I was three or four or five years old and went to school and I had no trouble at all learning. But that's not true of everybody. It's not true of some of the poorer children, some of the rural children, certainly not true of children who've immigrated from other countries and maybe not don't know Romanian and didn't have uh, books where they lived. So I'm increasingly concerned about making sure that all children do get off to a good start. Just in the time that I've been working in literacy, the scholarship has improved tremendously and the research has improved tremendously. And we appreciate in ways that we never did before that we can really help children when they're very young, when they're in kindergarten, when they're in first grade, we can help them get off to a good start, even if their families are poor and don't have books and don't read to them and don't speak, speak to them even very often. There are ways that we can help them. And if we do, then they can go on and be successful in, in school and the rest of life. What we do find, unfortunately, though, is that children who don't quite understand what a, what's a book anyway, and what is this reading about? And if somebody reads a book about something that's not right here in front of us, ah, what is that? Once upon a time on a tall mountain, there's no tall mountain here, what is she talking about? If they, do, if they get those confusions early on, then what, what we know from research is that little failures will accumulate and accumulate and accumulate until finally they just won't be very good readers. Now, okay, you might say, so what? Well, the other thing we know is that if they don't become good readers, it means their income is gonna suffer, it means their family's health is gonna suffer, it's gonna mean their political participation is gonna suffer, it might mean their social relationships are gonna suffer. So it turns out it really matters tremendously to everybody's quality of life, even years later when they're an adult, if we give them a good start when they're first starting out. They're terribly important. They can fill in a lot of the gaps that their children's family back, backgrounds left. So teachers who read to children, who engage children in books, teachers who have lots of books, colorful books on the levels that children can understand would be part of it. Children who draw out children's language and write that down and have children play with it and work with it and read it back. Uh, children, teachers who are careful with developing children's vocabulary and then carefully teaching the children about those aspects of written language that your kids and my kids learn automatically from being with us in, in our homes. For example, when you open a book, you see this beautiful picture and you see these words over here, but you read the words. <laughs> And a lot, of, a lot of kids don't know that. And if they don't know that, a teacher could be teaching her heart out all day long. And, this, and the kid was completely lost in the lesson because she didn't know that, oh, I'm supposed to be looking at these words. And the correct answer is yes. Not only, not only do you read, read the words, but hey, they start up here at the, at the top, over here on the left, and they go around across to the right. And then they go back over and they keep going. These are concepts about print that children children need to know. Another thing teachers can do is become as well informed as they can about what are the critical things that they can do for children early on. Uh, where can children get off the track and what things do they need to, to get them on track and so the teachers would be aware of those things and be able to 
identify the child who needs, needs help and to provide the help. Need the materials too, right? You do need the books. To learn as much as you can about it, be as tuned in and as sensitive as you can be to each child and how she or he is learning. Uh, learn as much as you can about the strategies, the teaching strategies that you can use to help that child develop literacy. And join in the conversation with other teachers and share what you're finding out, because we, we're all in this together. It's, teaching is a, can be a lonely profession if you're not talking to other people and learning from, from them what they, what they know.